Hello everyone, this is Skarzig, and welcome back to another viewer replay review. Today we have another replay coming to us from Megex. He's back again with more Vitruvian gameplay. I'm not sure what changes he's made to his deck for this particular game. Um, we can tell from his opening hand he most likely is still using his pre-Shimzar Vitruvian setup, so this should be a pretty interesting game. And his opponent is once again Magmar. Um, Historically speaking, I think that Vitruvian um, is one of the only factions that was able to challenge Magmar in the late game. Uh, way back in the day, uh, well currently Magmar is kind of known as an aggressive faction, a bully faction that's just going to get in your face, really drop some heavy damage. But back in the day, in the earlier days of Duelist, Magmar was actually known for their control game and they were known for their nigh unbeatable late game. And Vitruvian was one of the only factions that was able to challenge them in that. So, um, historically speaking, I think that even though Megax isn't using any Shimzar cards, the matchup is still good enough to where he doesn't need to worry too much about this one, so to speak. Magmar needs to draw into either A, a lot of aggressive options to take them out early, or B, draw into all of their removals at just the right time to take this out. Um, this is very, very nice play here. The Siphon Energy coming down on the Saber Spine Tiger removes the bonus HP that it got from the Greater Fortitude, and that's what causes it to die there. Very interesting interaction. In case um, any of my newer viewers haven't taken note of this interaction yet, that is, is extraordinarily useful. You're able to dispel the bonus HP that a minion gets from a buff in order to kill it. And so uh, coming down here, the natural selection takes out the Primus Shield Master. Now that we've seen the Saber Spine Tigers and the natural selection, this might be a sort of mid-range Magmar deck, not necessarily too control oriented. But we do get the second uh, Primus Shield Master coming down here because uh, he had the two in his hand. Developing the Iron Dervish here is actually very smart as well. Having that second body on the board is going to protect this other Primus Shield Master from meeting the same fate as the last one via natural selection. Does he have the Egg Morph? No, no, he does not have the Egg Morph. He chooses to develop the Rock Pulverizer. Hmm. Very curious indeed. Takes out the Iron Dervish with that Kinetic Equilibrium and buffs his Rock Pulverizer. Um, I know that he was hoping for the Primus Shield Master to trade into it, but the uh, General is not afraid to take that 3 damage, making the smart play here to keep that Primus Shield Master on board. Scion Second Wish coming down. This is huge. Um, his opponent is going to need the Egg Morph, and this is what I was talking about, where you have to draw your removals in basically the correct order to really get max value out of this matchup. We get the um, Mechanter War Beast coming down, and he takes out the Wind Strike. I know that it's important to get that off of the board before he has a chance to maybe hit that with another Scion Second Wish. So, although it is risky, I think that that um, play there is probably going to meet the highest chance of success. Uh, we do get the Tiger coming down. Ooh, very interesting. Megax chooses not to attack with the Saber Spine Tiger. Um, just wanting to keep maximum distance between him and his, and his opponent here. Since he has the Iron Dervish and the Fireblaze Obelisk set up, he, there's no reason that he needs to push that damage through when he knows that if he pulls the game out a bit farther, he can just win it through those means. Um, unfortunately, the Grove Lion causes the general to have force field so he's going to need to hit him with two sources of damage this turn if he wants to uh, get anything done just develops the starfire scarab instead and he's able to sort of start creating some distance from the uh, magmar general moving the Gro the grove lion away um i'm not sh i'm not entirely sure i agree with that because you see he has the earth sphere so he doesn't necessarily need to worry about getting uh bursted down through the uh, grove lion's force field it might have been more valuable to have this additional five five to back him up 
So we'll see how this how this plays out overall. But I think I would have liked to see the Grove Lion stay a bit closer to the fight, especially since Retruvian has um, Siphon Energy as such a useful spell. They're running almost almost always three of in their deck because he can just dispel this Grove Lion, deny the Force Field from the Magmar General, and then he just has a 5-5 five -five over in the corner that it's not going to be able to help out after it gets dispelled. Is able to do a little bit of damage with the help of the Starfire Scarab, however. I would have liked to see the Scarab come down and take out the Grove Lion. It would have been, in my opinion, uh, pretty much the same result, because you're getting some damage blocked anyway. But this way, you're just taking out that Force Field in general. So Now that uh, Megix is backed into a corner here with the Grincher, he does still have the 5-7 Starfire Scarab. Um, we'll see how he deals with this. His opponent already calling the GG. Probably has another artifact or something in his hand. Well, of course, I mean to say he got a useful artifact. Every once in a while, Grincher will pull you something you can't use. So, yep, there it is. Siphon Energy coming down on the Grove Lion. Punishing that, punishing that choice, I would have, again, uh, would have liked to see the Grove Lion a bit closer to the fight here. As you saw, instead of moving it once, twice, three times to get it over into the corner and safe, so to speak. It could have been in the mix here to uh, maybe be buffed, help take out this Primus Shield Master, or something along those lines. Tremor coming down. This is a spell that you do not see. Um, really, really... Mm. Tremor's definitely underrated, but it's still not strong enough to use. Situations like this where you're going to get a 2x2 two two of your opponent's minions to stun generally isn't worth it. Even if your opponent's minions are clustered up like this, you generally want to drop a Mechanter in there instead of actually stunning them. The Mechanter Warbeast is usually enough to um, get you enough value. And without that force field, uh, it's looking very, very dire for his opponent now. With the Amera Healer coming down, does he have the Egg Morph? Femoral Shroud... This is still not looking good. He has uh, five, six, seven. He still has lethal on board, even though he's dispelled that Amara Healer. Um, he's got five mana, but that is all the cards in his hand with that Maw coming down. So that is going to be GG. Hmm. So being able to kite back with the um, Amara Healer and the double buff Starfire Scare, putting in a lot of good work here. But uh, very solid play. Again, this was a really great match to highlight um, the importance of respecting your opponent's dispels. If you have a minion that does a lot of work passively from a range, um, the most common example might be Pandora or um, Mechazor is another example where typically your opponent will just drop that 8-8 range unit in the corner. And depending on the matchup, say uh, Lionar or Vanar, where they actually have dispel options that can uh, dispel Mechazord when normally it's spell immune, you want to start dropping that thing closer to the fight so you can get use out of it. So we saw the Grove Lion uh, being played a bit too defensively there. So once it was dispelled, it might as well have just died. You saw for the rest of the match, it wasn't able to make its way back into battle. Magmar doesn't have any movement options that's going to bring that minion back. No uh, Hearth Sister, no Magnetize, no Mist Dragon Seal. So that is one of Magmar's inherent weaknesses, and Megix was able to exploit that to great effect. So thank you for sharing this replay once again with us today. I hope the viewers enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you all next time. You have a good one.